welcome to all of you in this video discussion you learn jam jellies and marmalade production process in the first part the jam its manufacturing process ingredient proportions and standards these are the all points are covered let's start specific standards for jam jellies and the marmalades as per the food safety standard authority of india the minimum requirements in which the main parameter that is the fruit content then bricks and the consistency these are the main parameters differentiate between the jam jellies and the marmalade you can see the jam which is product made from the fruit pulp or the whole fruits with required minimum fruit content at least 45% for the regular fruits and for the berries minimum requirement 25% fruit content final bricks must be required not less than 68 and the consistency should be thicker you can see these are the photos of the jam jellies marmalade fruit butter what are the main ingredients used for the jam jellies and the marmalade manufacturing process in jam main ingredients in which the fruit pulp or the whole fruit then sugar citric acid and pectin these are the main ingredients along with additives with respect to the some of the addition of other ingredients like the salt herbs spices these are the additional ingredients may be added in the jam manufacturing process then food additives for the jam you can see in this label the additives may be added preservatives synthetic food colors and may be added with the artificial flavoring substances the main requirement with respect to the food additives natural color with respect to the good mentioned process then may be added with the food grade color up to 200 ppm may be added with the sweeteners up to 200 ppm and may be added preservatives benzoate not more than 1000 ppm or the sulfite not more than 100 ppm these are the main ingredients which are added into the jam manufacturing process the first ingredient that is the fruit pulp in which the fruit pulp or maybe directly use whole fruit or the pieces of the fruit that means first the fruits are pre processed and whatever the fruit juice pulp or the whole fruits these are the used for the preparation of the jam the mixed fruit jam in which two or more fruits pulp with proper proportion used for the manufacturing process of the jam the next second ingredient sugar sugar in which the cane sugar or the sucrose is mostly used in jam manufacturing process may be added with cane sugar additional liquid glucose or honey then the third that is the acid organic acid used in the germination process mostly tartaric or the citric acid is added to maintain the ph level of the final product between the 3.4 to 3.1% or the acidity 0.4 to 0.8% is sufficient the next one is the pectin substance that is the pectin which is the thickener is added addition requirement up to 1% is sufficient pectin is the number of the grades of the pectins are available then other including additives in with the preservatives colors and the flavoring substances you can see in this labels in this mixed fruit jam proportion of the banana papaya pears pineapples apples mango grape and the orange how to calculate the proportion of the ingredients used in the jam manufacturing process friends you can see the first that is the fruit pulp or the fruit juice or the fruit whole fruit then second ingredients that is the sugar initially fruit containing bricks and the acidity check as per the initial level you can add the 
addition of the sugar and the addition of the citric acid then addition of the pectin it is also depending on the initial fruit pulp containing the pectin quantity and then finally we get the good quality of the jam you can see uh, one of the problem in which how to calculate amount of ingredients requirement the calculate the amount of sugar citric acid pectin requirement to make the one kg of the jam if initially fruit pulp contain 15 degree mix total solids and the 0.3 percent acidity how to calculate this ingredients requirement you can see simple example first quantity of the fruit pulp required to make the one kg of the jam the 45 percent fruit pulp must required in the final product therefore one kg jam into 45 percent that is the 450 gram of the pulp requirement then second one is the pectin quantity pectin added 1 to 1.2 percent then we can calculate directly with the 1 kg jam into 1 percent or the 1.2 percent that is the 12 gram pectin required for the 1 kg of the jam the next one is the sugar quantity sugar quantity in which initial bricks of that pulp must require to check in this problem initial bricks is 15 degree bricks therefore initial sugar containing is calculated this is the initial sugar contained in the pulp then final sugar requirement that is the final bricks required not less than 6 state then final sugar requirement then subtract the value of initial sugar content of the fruit into the final requirement we get the amount of sugar required to addition then similarly acid quantity is also calculated in this way initial acid is 0.3 percent therefore initial acid in gram calculate then similarly final acidity requirement that is the 0.6 percent requirement then subtract this value we get the 4.65 gram of the acid to make the one kg of the jam these are the uh, calculation parts we can use to standardize the product uh, in case of the addition of the sugar these are the addition of the sugar this quantity whatever the quantity of the sugar is calculated is slightly reduce the amount of the sugar in order to get the exact final bricks requirement because during the cooking process slightly evaporation is occurred what are the main steps involving in manufacturing of the jam the first selection of the fruits properly ripe fruits are selected then pre-processing steps is carried out then after the pre-processing extraction of the pulp and the juice after the extraction of the pulp and juice it's checked its TSS and the acidity pectin test then after that the preparation of the jam in which the bulging steam jacketed kettles the fruit pulp uh, is taken into the steam jacketed kettles then addition of the other ingredients then properly cooking after the cooking the final products judging the its end point by using the different methods in which the by using the bricks methods then by using the thermometers and the traditional methods you can see uh, how to judge the end point of the bricks end point of that uh, final product and after the preparation of the jam the jam are filling into the glass bottles that is the hot filling is carried out into glass bottles and for plastic bottles slightly cool and then filling is carried out then after that the filling of the bottles then properly sealing is carried out then after the sealing of the product then labeling and the secondary packaging these are the main steps involving in the jam manipulation process the proportion of the ingredients used for the jam manipulation process these are the examples for the in case of the jam initial fruit quantity that is the fruit pulp quantity 1 kg then addition of the sugar is 0.8 kg then addition of the citric acid 5 gram and the pectin 12.5 gram then other additives as per the regulations then pineapples then strawberry raspberries then mixed fruit jam these are the proportion of the ingredients what are the major defects in the jam inhibition process the main defects involving first crystallization of the jam if proper citric acid proportion is not added then inversion is not occurred then recrystallization is uh, carried out 
and the crystallization of the jamis occurred. The second one is the sticky or the gummy. If final bricks of the jam is too high, then possibility to make the jam with sticky and the gummy. Proper proportion of the citric acid and the pectin must require to addition. Proper cooking. Judging of the end point is important to maintain the quality of the product. Then the Prematured setting. Prematured setting that means the proper, not proper judging of the endpoints. Then possibility the jam consistency is not properly occurred. Then microbial spoilage may be occurred if the proper uh, cooking is not done. Then uh, addition of the preservatives is not properly is done. Then possibility microbial spoilage. These are the references used for the preparation of this PowerPoint. Thank you very much.